Hi guys, welcome back to Mademoiselle Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading on Susie Lampley, who was a real estate agent in 1986. She went missing from her workplace and still from this day hasn't been found. I've asked the angel guides and spirit to join me in this read, to protect and guide me and give me clear messages to what happened to Susie Lamplu the day she disappeared when she was showing a real estate property and went missing. Could I have nine cards please in the energy surrounding the day that Susie went missing, spirit, please. Nine cards. Okay, so far we have the Wealth card, the Prince of Discs, the Queen of Discs, And Sorrow, the Three of Swords. Could I have more cards, please, Spirit? Death card, the lovers, the death card, strength. We'll just get them in the screen. Two more cards, please, spirit. Queen of Cups, one more card please Spirit. Could I have one more card please?
we got two. Thank you. Okay, we have the wealth card. With the Prince of Discs and the Queen of Discs, which is also coins. There was some sort of offer made to her before all this happened in regards to wealth and money. They saw her as a trustworthy person. I'm going to clarify here. What was this wealth card about, please, Spirit? Thank you. Work. We have the work card here as well. Somebody gave her an offer in regards to work and wealth. What was this offer? Could you clarify the Prince of Discs, please? The Magician. They wanted to take action with something in regards to money and work. Clarify the Queen of Discs, please, Spirit. The Nine of Cups. They saw it as a wish fulfillment. May have wanted to go out for drinks and discuss a working situation that could make them a lot of money. They had a conscious awareness. They knew what they were doing at the time. The Prince of Discs could also be like a text message or a phone call where they were deciding to take action towards her. Could we clarify? Clarify the Three of Swords, please, Spirit. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords depicts betrayal. Thank you. The Six of Cups. This is somebody she knew from the past.
There was some sort of betrayal going on here. This is definitely somebody she knew from the past. Can we clarify the lover's card, please? Values, personal belief, choices. Thank you. Oh, the Seven of Swords. More betrayal. Liar, steal, a cheater. Criminal action. They wanted to go against what she believed in. See, the, the middle line depicts what actually happened during her disappearance. And it seems to me that the person that's messaged her, that wanted to meet up, she She realised when she got there, it was somebody she knew from the past. It may have been somebody, she was definitely connected to this person from the past. And they may have been sexually attracted to her in some way. Or they may have had some sort of relationship in the past that was deceptive. Criminal act. She come eye, she come eye to eye with this person. And felt betrayed when she got there. Because obviously she didn't know she was meeting him at the time. Because he lied to her to get her to turn up at this place. The death card. I feel she's passed. Could we clarify the death card, please, Spirit? Let's clarify the death card. Thank you. The mother of swords. She cut this person out from her past. She wanted nothing to do with him because he was a liar and a thief. He couldn't be trusted. She couldn't trust him. And she cut him out. So he killed her. He definitely overpowered her in this situation. The Nine of Wands. Strength. I'm reading from the Thoth deck. So some things 
are a bit different. She did. She did try to fight him. She put up a fight. She definitely put up a fight. But she wasn't strong enough. She was already with somebody else. And he saw it as prudent. But we also have the eight The Eight of Pentacles here, which depicts work again. And we have the Three of Cups, which is depicting abundance in this deck. He wanted to start working with her. But because of the past, she didn't trust him. So she cut him off. And that's why he killed her. She was very trustworthy. She had high values. And he just thought she was a prude. But we definitely do have the working card and money in this situation, in regards to this situation. She stood her ground. She didn't trust him. So he tricked her. Trickery. Strategy. He strategized to get her there that day. Mother of Wands. Beautiful. Self assured. She didn't believe the depths that he went to. She was confident in her work. And she was confident in herself. She was living her best life. We clarify the strength card, please, Spirit. Thank you. Yes, the Son of Cups. She stood her ground over some sort of 
emotional offer that he also gave her. She found him to be immature. She really was out of his league. He was the page, she was the queen. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups, please, Spirit. Thank you. He was a narcissist. He didn't care less. Had no concern that she was already with somebody else. No concern at all. He was just pushing his way into her life, but she didn't trust him. And she decided she stood her ground. She really did try to fight him off. But with no feelings at all, he did what he did. Could we clarify the Three of Cups? Abundance and, and prudence, please, Spirit. He wanted to get involved with her financially. And emotionally. Seven of Cups, he was delusional. He really did think he had a chance here, but she just wasn't interested whatsoever. She didn't trust him. She'd known him from the past. And she was just out of his league. I'm getting really hot here and flustered. She was put in the position where He's met up with her, and as soon as she saw who it was, she knew something was off. I'm going to bring out the Zen deck here. And we'll see what Susie's energies were in relation to what has occurred here. Spirit, please give me the energies of Susie herself. of the time of her disappearance, please. Thank you. Could we clarify?
the Wealth card and the Eight of Coins. Healing. Existence. And sharing. She was moving on up in the world. And he wanted to be a part of her new life. He wanted to share her her life and how far she's gone. He wanted a part of it. She was really moving on up in her life. Let's clarify the sorrow and the Six of Cups, please, uh, Spirit. How did Susie feel when she saw the man from the past, please? When she got there, how did she feel when she... Thank you. Participation. She couldn't believe that he got her to participate in a way that was betrayed. He betrayed her to participate in this situation, to turn up there and meet him. She couldn't believe he made her a part of all of this. Could we clarify the lovers? And the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Morality. Her values. Her personal beliefs. She kept her values in this situation. She wouldn't surrender to what he wanted. So he killed her. He may have made a, a sexual advancement towards her and she really stood her ground and kept her values and morals and he didn't like this. Ego, pride. He was definitely out of her league. We clarify the death and the mother of wands, please. Thank you, spirit. She was innocent. Innocent. Very innocent person.
she wasn't going to put up a front or a show to even try to get out of this situation. She didn't even know that this was going to happen. It was... It was a shock to her. But she kept her morals about her. Her innocence even turned him on even more. And when he realised she was out of his league, he killed her. Because she stood her ground on an emotional offer that was given her. Could we clarify her energies towards this place, Spirit? Thank you. Guilt, new vision. He was trying to make her feel guilty for not even being interested in him. And she was trying to take on a new perspective on how she was going to get out of this. He was actually trying to take advantage of her innocence. But her morals were just too high to lower herself to this man's standards. And then when she realised that she may have to, she was starting to feel guilty. But in some way was trying to work out a way of getting around him. But he really didn't have any concern for her, even though she was trying to show a bit of heart towards him. He didn't show any concern about that at all. Because once he knew that this wasn't going to go anywhere, could we clarify how she felt when she was trying to get out of the situation, please, Spirit? How did she feel? The full... She felt foolish. She really was trying to put her faith in the situation. Stop it. She was trying to start a new story with him, try to create a new vision. But he had no concern. He was a narcissist. He had no concern whatsoever. Once she rejected him, he knew that she was out of his league. 
He knew he didn't have a hope. And even though she was trying to get out of the situation and bluff him, he wasn't having it. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups, please, Spirit. Projection. She really was trying to get into his head and create illusions to get out of the situation. But he didn't fall for it. Because of her reaction when he's made an... When he's made a sexual... Act towards her, she's obviously rejected him. And then as she tried to get out of the situation... She really was trying to project to him and create illusions and maybe say, hey, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe this could happen, maybe that could happen. But yeah, he wouldn't have it after that. He knew what he was going to do. He decided what he was going to do and he done it. Now, what I would like to do now there seems to be two people that the police feel may have been involved in this situation. Well, two suspects, two different suspects. And that would be John Canan and Stephen Wright, the Suffolk Strangler. So I will be asking Spirit if either one of these could be involved in Susie's disappearance. Okay, Spirit, could you give me three cards? On the energy of Stephen Wright, the Suffolk Strangler. Did he have anything to do with Susie's disappearance, please, Spirit? Did he have anything to do with Susie Lampu's disappearance? Stephen Wright, Steve Wright. One more card, please, Spirit, for Steve Wright. Thank you. And could I have three cards for John Canan? Did John Canan have anything to do with Susie's disappearance? I'm getting pins and needles now in my feet, in my right foot. Did 
John Canan have anything to do with Susie Lampley's disappearance? Thank you. Okay, for Steve Wright, we have the Nine of Wands, the Four of Coins, and the Ace of Coins. He may have given her some sort of offer that he was holding on too tight to. Something he was standing firm on. The wounded warrior. She may have heard his feelings sometime or another. Something he was holding a grudge against her for. Some sort of offer that he gave her. Now with John Canan we have the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Swords. A painful ending. He came in and gave her some sort of emotional offer. You become over emotional. He was very over emotional. Could have had something to do with family he wanted her to be the one I'm going to clarify Could we clarify the Nine of Wands with Steve Wright, please? Let's clarify Steve Wright. Aloneness. Coins the Rebel. The Offer. Politics. Let's clarify... John Canan, please. What is this Ten of Swords? The 
painful ending. Creativity. Control. I am sweating, guys. And the thunderbolt, the tower. It seems to me that If I was to decide out of these two people who was the killer, in regards to this reading right now, it would be John Canaan. He created a, a painful ending. He wanted control over her and her emotions. She may have told him that he, she was happy with somebody else and he's created a tower moment, thunderbolt, tower. It was unexpected for her. But this man wanted control over her emotions and didn't get it because she was already happy. As for Steve Wright, I think his connection with her may have to do with some sort of business situation. But he's not the killer. The perpetrator here, out of these two men, would be John Canaan. She wanted emotional control over her and couldn't get it because she was already happy. She kept her morals about her. He knew that she was out of his league. So he ended it. And it was a painful ending. Could you please just give us a clue on where or what happened with her body, please, spirit? What happened? What happened with Susie's body? Give us a clue on where we could find it, please. Where is Susie Lamplet's body? Too many. Could you tell me where Susie Lampert's body is, please, Spirit? Okay, we have judgment. May have been somewhere they've already looked. The fool, 
journey it may have moved from where he first placed it. One more card, please. Thank you. Three of coins. It's on land somewhere. Earth. This is the earth sign. Coins. The judgment card shows some broken down old fences. There also seems to be like a graveyard. And sometimes the fool shows that he's jumping off a cliff and into water, but in this card, he's on land. And there's like an... Homes in the background somewhere. And in this one we have scaffolding, a tall building with scaffolding. Somewhere that some sort of old work site. She's been buried at some sort of old site. She's definitely on land or was put on land. I shall leave the reading there. If you'd liked and you'd like to see more of my true crime readings, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss any of them. And I'll see you soon. Love and light.